Hi guys and ladies, you know I went to bed last night wondering what to do with the extra tomato sauce I have left over from last week. You see, I tried to avoid having pasta due to my low carb diet. Well, just before dozing off, my thoughts changed to my favorite sport, fishing. Now this recipe comes out of a, a muddled dream I had in the morning. <laughs> the result is fish balls. People are going to say, you gotta be nuts. And I guess they're right. Okay, here I'm finally chopping about a pound of my bluegill fillets. You see, I don't have any ground beef handy to make meatballs for the sauce I have on hand. Well, Asians eat fish balls regularly, and so do many Latin Americans in the form of albondegas. Now, in one of my videos, I even made fish cakes that were surprisingly savory. So these are similar, aren't they? I don't know. I have no idea what the outcome of this is going to be, but however they turn out, I promise to give you an honest assessment of the results. If anyone sees this who knows me, I'm afraid they'll try to put me away. I'm going to pretend I just got back from the supermarket with one pound of ground beef. How about we add some pepper? Now I'm just going to add a little salt. Here I'm adding a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Well, not actually. Normal people would add breadcrumbs. I'm adding a half a cup of ground pork rinds because of this diet I'm on. Now I'm adding a half a cup of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Now I'm just putting in two heaping teaspoons of basil pesto. Let's put in two eggs to act as glue. Now with wet hands, I'm going to mix this all up. Well, this mixture seems a little more moist than uh, ground beef would be. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try making these meatballs just the same. The ice cream scoop helps me portion them out. I'm pouring in about a quarter to one half inch of cooking oil. Olive oil would be better, but it's so expensive. Now I'm going to turn the heat up to medium high. Well, I think it's time to put them in the hot oil. I'm totally winging it here. I have no idea how these are going to come out, but they smell good. If only they taste half as good as they smell, wow. They're totally brown now, so I'm getting them out. I've got my sauce simmering here. So what I'll do is I'll put the fish balls into the sauce and let them continue simmering for about a half hour. I would never subject a dinner guest uh, to this wild and crazy experiment, so I'll have to do the taste testing all myself tonight. Whenever my dad used to see me do something crazy like this, he would say, you gotta be nuts. Well, luckily I have a telephone handy and also close by is a pizzeria. So if this doesn't taste good, you know what I'll be doing. Here we go. Just a little piece. It tastes exactly, exactly like a meatball. Well, if you have any extra catch from your fishing expeditions and you don't know what to do with it, you could always put some tomato sauce over it. 
Thanks so much for tolerating me. Appreciate your watching.